<laughs> hey everybody, we're still out here in beautiful Twin Lakes, Colorado. Uh, just getting ready in the next couple of weeks to head down to uh, Alamosa for the gutted event. Uh, the van build is on. The van build <laughs> was sidetracked for a minute because of COVID, but it was never not on. So any questions about that? The van builds on and I'll be making an announcement about it in an upcoming live stream, which we're going to do Sunday because Saturday we're going to a van show in Dillon and I'm going to try to bring my drone to do a flyover to show, you know, the, the scope of the event and then bring cameras and see how much, much of it I can film. Now there is, it's pro my guess is it's probably a lot of high end rigs that, you know, for me, I just like kind of looking at van dweller candy, nomadic candy, you might say, seeing what the latest and greatest gizmos that are out and, you know, how many of these sprinters or ProMasters or uh, Ford Transits have uh, moved into four wheel drive and lift kits and all that jazz. So that's what I'm expecting, but I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna bring the camera, the drone, and get a good feel for what's going on there. And I'll be putting that up. And then we're doing a live stream on Sunday Meanwhile, let's rewind the clock back to January when we were at the Schoolie Palooza event. And I want to introduce you to Sebastian and Jack the Bus. Let's take a look. Don't be afraid of us. You can come and see us. Uh, we are not, uh, we're really, really <laughs> gentle people. We're here today, it's a little bit of a windy day, but we're making do with it with Sebastian, who I met a few days ago, and has an absolutely fantastic bus. I think you're really gonna like. One of the things that I noticed most about it, haven't seen the inside, is that he actually used hockey pucks to raise his solar panels up off his roof a little bit. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. Not only does it buffer a little bit with the vibrations of the Z brackets on the roof, but also raises it a bit to uh, create a little bit more of a, a pocket in between that keeps the heat off on hot days. And when you're in a metal vehicle, anything you can do to keep the heat from cooking you out inside is, uh, is a good thing. So anyway, he was kind enough to give us the tour with that. Let me introduce you to Sebastian. How's it going, man? Hi. I got a little something on my hands, <laughs> no problem. chain loop or something. But uh, great rig. How long have you been uh, working on this? Um, we start the project on the, uh, uh, the started on the first of uh, June, and it took us uh, four months. I think uh, nine uh, nine hundred hours to uh, to build it. Nine hundred hours. Full time. Full time. Yes. And you built it in Canada. We built it in uh, Quebec. Yes, Canada. Okay. Right off the top of my head, I'm just compelled to ask you: How did you get here from Canada? Um, it's a little bit <laughs> hard, but uh, it's okay for uh, we we uh, we we travel from uh, Quebec to Vancouver, and then uh, we we didn't want to stay there because of uh, cold weather, so we we spoke to somebody who uh, was uh, searching for transport the the, v, the RV in the in US so the the only the only uh, thing it was uh, to take flight to Vancouver to go to Seattle and then take a carrier to bring the the rig in the US so uh, that was the only solution for us and that's what we done on the, the December 9th so uh, we're here and we absolutely love what the decision we take. Well, we're glad you're here too and yeah. to be able to meet you and see your rig. Yeah. Where did you find a bus like this in, in Canada? Um, it's um, a company that owns the bus, uh, the school, school bus for uh, kids. So uh, we just went to the company and tell them, uh, do you have a rig, uh, do you have a school bus to sell? And he says, no, but um, Oh, maybe yes. So uh, he shows us uh, this this bus, and uh, we we discussed for price, but it was uh, the bus perfect bus for us. Air air ride suspension. Oh, and, nice. Um, yes, um, Cummins engine and transmission is uh, Allison transmission. Why a school bus? Why wouldn't you just buy a camper, an RV, a Class no, A? No, no, no. 
no other camp card because of the um, the the security. It's more uh, solid than the RV, and uh, for the challenge too. I am um, a uh, woodworker. I do anything, so I just for the challenge. It was uh, my uh, my pleasure. I hear you. Yeah. Well, I have a suspicion that we're in for a real treat. If the inside looks anything like the outside, you mind giving us a peek inside? No problem. Yeah. All right, man. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Right off the bat, you've got a a uh, map of uh, the world. Mm -hmm. And did you make that yourself? My girlfriend did it. Okay. Yes, she's an artist, so uh, she did uh, all the paint uh, inside, all the burning wood. Here too, we have a small, nice a small table that she can she can work on the on the road, and uh, it's a fold fold down table. This one too, it makes a bed, so we just take the cushion and put it on the underneath this i really like how you saved a, a uh, seat so she can ride with a seat belt and it's all uh yes you know approved for uh department of transportation yes in canada in quebec we have to uh to have a certification rv certification so uh, all the belt is certified certified certificate for um, RV so we we need uh, the, this kind of seat with the seat belt and uh, so uh, without this it cannot be certified, uh, certified so is that to say that your title on your vehicle was changed from a from a commercial RV. vehicle to now it's a class A class RV, a RV on the RV. title yes and you can drive anybody can drive it so uh, don't need any class on your uh, driver license. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, starting with the, the ground up, let's just say you took the seats out, you took it all the way down. Did you put any kind of insulation in first before the flooring? Yes, we have a, a one and a half inch insulation, uh, half inch plywood, and then this flooring. Okay. Close flooring, yes. And you've got the uh, rock. We were talking about that the other day. You've got the <laughs> rocks. See if you can... Uh, Get a shot of this entry. I just really love how he. You're just never gonna see that. It's my girlfriend's uh, <laughs> idea. It's a little rock that we just buy at a um, uh, store, one dollar store. So uh, and we. <laughs> it, it came just, out great. <laughs> yes. So you mentioned you had an inch and a half insulation underneath. I'm guessing that because you're living up in Canada, yes, you yes. wanted to make this bus a four season vehicle yeah. that's not going to purge a lot of heat in the winter time. Mm. Uh, so you insulated the walls, the ceiling, everything. Yes, we took all the insulation of the original bus off and then we we insulate with urethane all the bus and then put another, another uh, layer of uh, insulation um, with, uh, with the uh, I don't know how to say it, sorry. Spray? <laughs> Spray. And then uh, it's okay. It's okay. We we can we can keep the heat inside because when it's uh, really uh, cold. And with the with this we can keep the heat or the fresh without uh, any. It's not insulation, but it's okay for uh, keeping the the heat inside. What are we doing to heat the bus when we want to kick on a furnace or how are you doing? We how have are you a heating? furnace. Um, uh, with ducks, uh, this this is uh, this is a furnace is um, underneath the bed. Okay. It's a propane furnace. Okay. And, uh, there is uh, outside there, there and, and at the front. Uh, so you ran three different registers. Yes, three registers. And uh, did a it did a great job. How many BTUs do you happen to know? Mm, no, I don't. No. Okay, I don't that's okay. No. Yeah, but it's doing the job. Yes. That, with the way you're insulating everything. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the biggest challenge for you in this whole build? Um, I didn't know really good about electricity. To, that was a big challenge for me. And uh, plumbing too. And just to do um, plumbing, uh, we, I have to do racks underneath of the bus for, uh, every, for the gray tank and the... Uh, uh, black tank so everything is a little challenge but I can do anything so I just have 
to make my research to uh, to do what I want to do and speak to, to people and. Um, did you do the insta the solar installation yourself? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. How many uh, watts did you decide to go with, and how are you bringing the the power from the sun into the into the uh, RV in a usable way? So, starting with the watts on the roof. The watts I have uh, five fifty hundred watt watts um, with uh, four AGM six volt batteries. Okay. And uh, I have. Um, enough enough electricity for a 12 volt and I have a inverter 3000 watts and I have a transfer switch to do to transfer if the electricity is coming from a, a plug for in camping or whatever sure or uh, with the solar panel or even with when I'm driving I have a, a little uh, switch to, uh, to an isolator power. Yes. Yes, sir. Bring the power from the battery of the engine to recharge, charging my battery. So, uh, I am fully self-sufficient. Sufficient. Yes. Do you have a electrical board that we could look at, or is it all put away? Yes, but we have to to go this side because uh, I can slide it out. So you you can go on the other side. Okay. It's here. This is my uh, my electricity <laughs> configuration. It looks great. Yes, but the battery are in the in the storage under under the bus, and uh, that's okay. I have uh, this one too uh, that you can find on any RV. It's a one twelve volt this side and uh, one hundred twenty the other side. What's this right down here on the bottom on the right? This? Yes, no. sir. Uh, it's just connection. It's just a pole connection for a, a positive or negative, uh, and that's that wire goes under the, the bus to go in the battery. Okay. Battery box. It looks like a professional did it to me. Yes. <laughs> that's a. Uh, I like to be. I like the work to be clean and done uh, the right way. So, uh, I try. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> it looks great. Uh, what were some of the other things that were important to you in the build besides being self-sufficient and having power? Shower. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> the important thing was um, to have uh, an independent shower. Sorry. <laughs> How are you uh, heating the water? Uh, with the water tank heating, a six gallon water tank. Is it electric? No, it's um, uh, propane. Propane yes. water tank. Propane. And you, how much water do you carry on board? Um, it's uh, just a six, uh, five, no, uh, fifty gallons. So fifty it's gallons. Not, That's a lot. It's yes, but uh, uh, shower about uh, two or three times a week. <laughs> we uh, it's uh, it's not enough for us, but it's okay. We we try to keep the water. Uh, that we that we carry on, but well, with the, the the dishes we have uh, to do. <laughs> my my girlfriend uses a lot of water, <laughs> but well, you're also brand new and it's kind of still adjusting yes, to how long water yes, lasts. Mm. And so there's you know you're gonna figure things out and get into a groove over time, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, yes. This refrigerator looks like it's a 110 refrigerator. No, yes, it is. It was at uh, basically it was a, a 110. But um, I convert it in uh, 12 volt, only 12 volt. So the, the compressor is changed when the, the, the fridge always working on the 12 volt. So you went in and took the compressor out for 110 and you yes, bought... Yes, not me, but uh, I, somebody in Quebec did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fantastic. So you get the benefit of all the room yes. of a conventional refrigerator, mm -hmm. but also the benefit of the low draw power of a... Uh, like a Dan Foss compressor, yeah. uh, one of the ones that's made to be on solar. So you're just getting the best of both worlds with that. Yes. Uh, show us this bathroom, man. Yeah. So uh, this is an independent bathroom. Uh, it's not a compost toilet, but it's a regular toilet. We have to. We have um, a black black water tank. Mm -hmm. 
and um, we have uh, just a little sink here. It's worth pointing out that you have a ceramic sink. Yes. Whereas most RVs that you'll go buy that were built from the factory to be lived in have plastic, plastic sinks. Sink, yes. And so this is a really nice touch. Yes. It came out nice. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice feel to it. I mean, you've got, what is this, cedar? Uh, no, it's um, uh, pine. Pine? Rustic pine. Is it yes. uh, tongue and groove? Yes. So um, I have, uh, with the, the bus frame, I took, I put some wood, half inch plywood, and screw it in the, in the frame bus. And then each, each um, wood is fastened with uh, staples. But you don't see it, but maybe sometime you can see one here. Yes. Okay, so uh, it's just... Did you use any adhesive or just the staples? Just the staples. Okay, looks great. No, 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 no adhesive and no, uh, no glue. And you have a ref uh, air conditioner? Yes, that's the air conditioner. Uh, usually was uh, with the docking, so uh, that was... That's the way I used to put the drill some hole in the, the roof because I don't have enough space to, to make... Uh, I have to make uh, small docks to distribute the air I see. and drill all inside. Mm -hmm. And you have this one too that put the air in the front mm -hmm. and this one too there's uh, another hole to put the air in the front. But we, we haven't used it right now since we left uh, Quebec. I just test it in Quebec but it works really good. I can have uh, 10 degrees less than the, the, the exterior with the, that and running. Running off the solar? Um, no, I don't think that's, that's running with the solar. I, I have to put the, to plug the generator to, uh, to, okay. to make it run, yes. Uh, closet space, storage space? Yes, it's, uh, this is <laughs> a small wardrobe and this is for the, for the foods. I think you're doing great. I think you're doing absolutely great. Uh, before we move back up this way, can we uh, tell us a little bit about the bed? You've got some nice storage up above. Yeah. And uh, do we have an emergency e exit yes. out the back? Yes, it's accessible. Looks like the cat's got a place. <laughs> dog. <laughs> or the dog, okay. So uh, under the bed, I have the water tank and um, we have the the water, the, the eat water tank too. and. Um, uh, the ether, so uh, and uh, a little st little storage under under the bed that is accessible outside. And we also have a heat vent. Event. A heat vent for the heat. Yes. Here? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, it is. A register. Is there anything about the build that uh, was a, that you absolutely had to have, even though it was a challenge? You you know you you were very uh, uh, particular about no matter what I have to have. You know, this sink looks like it came right out of a, uh, a residential uh, kitchen. The feel here, the open space and counter space, it really doesn't seem like you're uh, making many concessions for living in a vehicle on the road. This is super nice and it'll hold up to anything you'll find at, at a class A, uh, you know, factory build. The, the stove here, the oven, propane, mm -hmm. and you're able to bake. But anything, even a pizza, and uh, it, it cooks. A, it, it makes a really good pizza or lasagna or uh, anything. What's been the fanciest meal that you've had so far in the in the camper? Oh, we can do uh, anything. I don't know. Really, uh, my girlfriend is cooking <laughs> really nice, and uh, it's, she cooks anything that she cooks at the, the home. So she can do it uh, right here. So. We don't have any restriction. <laughs> it, it looks absolutely great. And it looks like here's your control center where you can monitor your batteries, yes. temperature, yes. check your, the state of your uh, of the, water tanks. Water, the lights, I have a light, LED lights everywhere. Under the counter, under the, 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 the seat. And then the, I have the vent. Here is to keep the, the, the heat, but I have manual vent here, but electric.
It's also close to the stove. Yes, and, and it put, took, took the took all off if we if there's too much smoke. <laughs> right. I think you're I setting think a high so. standard with this build. Yes. If you want to show, if you want to, to see the exterior or what what's uh, outside, I can show you. Let's do it. Let's yep. take a look. Uh, it looks like you went different colors. Is it? Did you roll it on or spray it on? No, I spray it. Spray it. And. Um, here I have um, two uh, fill up, two uh, thing to fill the, my um, propane propane uh, bottle that are fixed under the bus. So I just have to, to go anywhere and they fill up. It's really easy. These and are both propane. Bro bo both propane, yes. Okay, and how much propane are you carrying? Uh, two bottle of. Um, 20 liter uh, uh, under and two bottle of 20 liter about 40, 40 uh, 80 80 liter of uh, propane uh, these are rv tanks also yes very nice yes and, uh, i have a little bit of storage here and the cool thing is uh, i can scoop it out the barbecue cook on the grill yeah. nice and, uh, is this your shore power going in yes it's a uh, oh this is coming out yeah it's coming out for, so for the table uh, yes or anything else. sure these are massive tires I'm on 22 and a half inch rims it's the all bus in Quebec are uh, equipped with that because uh, because of the snow. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like these are 22 and a half inch rims also, but the tires are so much bigger. Yeah. That's cool when you're off road. <laughs> uh, your girlfriend paint this? My girlfriend, yes. Looks great. It looks great, yes. It's a hard job because it took three days to do one and three days to do the second one because there are a lot of uh, layer of paint. So sure. We had to, the, the trick is that we cannot use them. Um, a sticker to put on because of the difference of the, the height so we had to paint it and uh, we install a projector um, at night projector and project the, the oh. image on the bus and then we, we just sketch it on the project and the, what the projector shows on the, the bus and then after that uh, she paint all the all the lights so uh, it, it's a difficult job but it's done uh, very well it's absolutely brilliant that's a brilliant way to do it too just have a uh, image projected uh, yeah. this is going to be your propane, propane furnace uh, yes yeah, so and it looks like you welded this aftermarket this doesn't look like it came with the vehicle no 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 we welded uh, and you have a patio upstairs patio upstairs too you got your bicycles for uh and you went with bicycles that if they turn up missing, you don't really care that much. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. I had a really nice bicycle taken off the back of my bus. Okay. So there's something to be said for that. Yes. And uh, this is the generator. Three, uh, 3,000 watts. You go to the dump station. This is a box for... Okay, so you're black and your gray water? Yes. Just put it in. And here are your ports for that yes it's um, gray and black water this is the my fill up for water this is the entry for uh, electricity if i need it but i never need it this is the furnace okay this one is a shower exterior shower we haven't used it really maybe in a outer place and uh, here I have uh, the battery four battery six six volt battery water reserve here just some extra 21 gallons it's a good plan this is the door for uh, the engine battery three three engine battery and more so this is the bus jack the bus if you want to follow us on uh, Facebook or, or Instagram, just uh, type Jack the Bus. Jack the Bus. Yes. 
Where do you go after this? Um, we're we were planning to go uh, in Mexico, but uh, I think we're gonna change the plan for, to go to uh, Texas in uh, Padre Island. Padre okay. Island. So maybe maybe we'll be there in one uh, one or two weeks. I've never been there, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, yes. especially this time of year. So you're going to a warmer place mm -hmm. at the right. You'll be at the right place at the right time. Cool. What uh, parting advice would you give to anyone that's thinking about building something like this? And I got to tell you, I've, I see a lot of these. I've built my own, mm -hmm. and you've done such a wonderful job. Folks might be intimidated. <laughs> Why? Well, you've just done such a fantastic job, they'll think, I could never even imagine how to make something look that nice. What advice would you give them if they want to build something like this for themselves? Oh, just do it, what, do what you want and do, um, I've done it that, the way I want it and uh, just for me and not for everybody. So everybody is doing what they want. So, uh, so it's not, don't be afraid of us. You can come and see us. Uh, we are not... Uh, <laughs> We're really, really gentle people. Well, good. Thanks a lot for taking time to give us a tour. I feel very fortunate to have caught you before you guys are off to the next adventure. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet and you. And we'll see you hopefully on the road. Oh, hopefully, yes. Mm -hmm. Post it right now.